Here's how you can double the maximum brightness on your MacBook Pro or Pro Display XDR. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't done so already, I implore you to please go ahead and subscribe and smash on that notification icon so you don't miss any of my videos. This video is dedicated to an easy way to double the brightness on either your MacBook Pro or the Pro Display XDR. So let's break it down. I'm gonna show you how to do it, how it works, and whether or not it's actually safe to use on your machine. So let's go ahead and dive into all of this. To double the brightness of your display, we need to use a quick third-party application that's free to track for yourself, but then will require a purchase to unlock the full functionality. The app itself is called Vivid, and there is a link for it down below if you guys do want to try this out. So I've gone ahead and downloaded the application and moved it into my applications folder. So let's launch Vivid. So first it warns me that this is an app that I've downloaded from the internet, and yes, in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and open it. So now I'll get this little walkthrough that explains what we're looking at. Basically, it's going to take over your display and run a full screen application and effectively double the maximum brightness. One neat feature is the fact that this is able to override your screen's maximum brightness. So you can still use your existing function keys to increase the brightness of your display. So if I use my on keyboard brightness keys, I can go ahead and go from my half brightness all the way up to my normal top brightness. But if you go past that, keep pressing that up button, you'll see an additional slider appear underneath of that icon and it lets me go even brighter. So I can see what it is with my max brightness as well as what the previous max brightness was. But really, that's it. Install Vivid, now you can use your brightness keys to go beyond the typical max brightness for your display. There's some additional options that you can configure. If you go to Vivid in your menu bar, you can disable Vivid if you want to turn it off or quit it completely, that's also an option. But you can toggle on split screen so you can see it for yourself even after you've purchased the full license. You can activate your license, show the dock icon, as well as go into preferences. In preferences, there are a couple experimental options. So there are occasional times with this brightness all the way up that there can be graphical issues, not something that's hurting your machine, but graphical issues that have like white overlays and stuff like that. And there are options for being able to prevent white overlay and starting this at login. So enable those if you need to. So how does Vivid work? What machines are supported? And is this actually safe to use on your machine? Well, let's start with how it works. Vivid is technically a full screen application and they're using Apple's native Metal API to create an HDR application that runs at full screen. When running at HDR, it'll up that brightness to a thousand nits. So think if you are watching a movie or something and there's an explosion on screen and that is when the brightness will increase for that moment up to a thousand nits and then back down to your typical brightness. That's the HDR content they are taking that HDR content and making it happen all the time, full screen on your Mac. Which brings us to which machines are supported. Because this is using HDR, like a trick to get around that HDR, it only works with machines that support HDR. In that case, it Apple's 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros, those most recent versions, as well as Apple's Pro Display XDR. This will not work with older machines, uh, cheaper machines, or even Apple's new studio display. The studio display does not support HDR, so it won't work with the Vivid application. That brings me to whether or not it's actually safe to run Vivid. Now, Vivid gives us a few use cases of why it says Vivid is okay to run on your Mac. The developers say they are doing nothing that your Mac was not intended to do and they put forth a very plausible use case of why it's okay. And that is a professional video or photo editor who is editing a video in HDR for eight to 12 hours a day. That's a real use case with that brightness turned all the way up. But at the same time, I can't help but think that running your display at this maximum brightness for extended period of times will somehow have some sort of impact of the longevity and the lifespan of your device. 
even Vivid developers itself say that they cannot be held liable should something happen to your machine because it's running at this peak brightness for longer. And you have to take into account the other ramifications. When you're running your, bright, your screen at this brightness, you're going to have a much lower battery life. It has to pump out a lot more power to brighten that display, which means your battery life is going to take a substantial hit. It'll also run your machine a bit hotter, between 5 and 10%, according to Vivid's developers. And if your machine does get too hot, Mac OS will take precautions and lower the brightness on its own so that nothing happens to your machine in that regard. Still, it's the longevity of the device that I am most worried about, especially with battery life and how that could impact it. Trying to play this fair, Vivid's developers do point to a statement from Apple regarding the HDR features of its machines. Apple says that its HDR machines can sustain 1,000 nits of brightness across the full screen. This means that a pro can edit an HDR photograph or video with the entire frame at 1,000 nits of brightness indefinitely. So if we read into that, Apple seems to claim that you can do this safely, but I would still take all of that with a grain of salt and protect the machines that you purchased. So what do you think? Would you try Vivid on your machine? If you would like to give it a try, there is a link down below on where to download the application. There is a free version that will run in split screen mode or you can buy a full license for I believe 15 euros. Let me know if you think this is safe or if you would try it down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. I got a whole lot more videos coming your way.